Hi guys, today we are going to review this notebook. It is the top of the line of the ASUS Multimedia uh, notebooks and it is the N76VZ. Uh, this is actually the latest version uh, of 2012, the T1131H. Uh, then in 2013 it came out the T1235 uh, it has um, 16 gigabytes of RAM instead of 8 gigabytes and uh, I think nothing more uh, oh yes 4 gigabytes of RAM for the NVIDIA G650M uh, instead of the 2 gigabytes available on this model so let's start with the outside we can find actually the battery and here is the where is where are placed uh, the the two hard drives uh, 750 gigabytes each and here there are the two uh, ram memories uh, four gigabytes each you can change all this stuff just unscrewing one single screw here and removing this panel and so on the first side we have the Kensington lock this is a jack audio exit for the subwoofer uh, this is the multimedia series so ASUS provides you a little subwoofer by Sonic Master and it really improves a lot the, the sound quality of this notebook so we have the Blu-ray disc player and uh, writer two USB 3.0 uh, exit, the microphone in and the um, earphones or uh, uh, jack out. Uh, on the front we have just four lights for uh, the actual working status of the notebook. On the other side we have two more USB port 3.0, an HDMI, uh, this is the Ethernet connection and here we have the cooler of the PC. Here you can see, uh, you can plug in um, an outside cooler and this is the VGA and then the power in. On the back we have pretty much nothing so we can open it. You can see on the back of the screen the ASUS logo and inside we have, like I said, aluminum structure, the touchpad, the full keyboard here. This is an instant button. You can choose which application you want to open instantly by pressing this. And this is the power button. So let's turn on. This is not a stock notebook. I just uh, did a few mods to, to it. And here we have Windows 8. Uh, it came out with Windows 8 already installed and I put uh, an SSD Corsair Neutron GTX 240 instead of one hard drive and uh, I upgraded the RAM from 8 gigabytes to 16 uh, and I choose the Corsair Vengeance I left uh, on the computer Windows 8 to, to see how it is because um, at first uh, I didn't like it so much but you know I need a longer period to try it and definitely can say if it's good or not so uh, this is uh, like I said the multimedia uh, notebook it's a 7.3 inch uh, LCD so uh, a great function of this uh, LCD is the possibility to see it from a very large angle like 150 degrees so this is the front and you can see it's great even if you are not directly straight to the monitor so we have the Metro starting of Windows 8. So this is the actual normal desktop. This is the instant on is a feature by Asus. 
just uh, one of the few I let it run on the computer and it allows you to restart the computer very fast. Now let's talk about the specs of this notebook. It comes with the Intel CPU, the a third generation i7 3630QM with 2.4 gigahertz and with turbo, with turbo Boost it goes around 3.3 gigahertz. We have an NVIDIA GeForce GT 650M uh, 2 gigabytes of DDR3 RAM for a uh, video card. We have uh, uh, with a stock notebook two hard drives to select. Uh, I choose the 750 gigabytes per each. They are um, actually a uh, good hard drive. One is uh, an Itachi, the other one is a Western Digital. Uh, they are both um, 7200 RPMs, but you know, just uh, uh, now an HDD is not enough and you probably would improve the, your computer. So with uh, almost $250, you can have a great SSD. I choose the Corsair Neutron GTX 240. And I left uh, the other HDD drive to the mass storage. Then you have 8 gigabytes of RAM. In, you have two slots, so you can maximum arrive to 16 gigabytes. I choose the Corsair Vengeance RAM, uh, CL9, uh, 1600 megahertz, and instead of the 1600 megahertz, CL11 of the Hynix, the stock equipment on this notebook. You have the LCD screen Full HD. So for the multimedia, actually, we have a great audio system. The audio is provided by Bang Olsen with the Asus Technology Ice Power. They give you even um, a little subwoofer. You can connect it here, but I don't have it really here right now and you can listen really well to music, movies, uh, with a great quality and a great volume. And this is not uh, a common thing if we talk about notebooks. So the keyboard is uh, backlighted and I, I think it's really comfortable if you use the computer in dark rooms. So the touchpad is the only part I don't like so much. Just I don't know if you can listen to this, but it's not really built at the top of the quality. You can you can feel when you press the buttons this click click click. It's um, annoying a little bit. For the rest is really a well-made notebook. It's actually great, uh, good looking, but this is a personal uh, thought. So if you like the simple construction, if you like computers like the Asus Gaming, the, the Asus Lamborghini or the Anywhere, so this is not the, the look that you would like much. So guys, now let's talk about benchmarks and performances. After I upgraded the SSD and the 16GB of RAM, I just downloaded and installed CSoft Sandra and I run the complete benchmark on it and it shows uh, great performances. So now this exact notebook is rated at number at position 45 uh, over the 99.50% of all the other benchmarked notebooks. Um, about this line of notebooks, the Asus N76VZ, this is the best. I just didn't overclock anything because with this BIOS you cannot overclock, not the RAM, not the CPU, you can just overclock the NVIDIA card. But you know, this is actually the 2GB DDR3 RAM version. So, uh, I will not recommend you to overclock this RAM. If you choose the new model, 
the T1235 with the 4 gigabytes DDR5 um, NVIDIA video card, you can overclock it and achieve really better results. So I paid it uh, with all the stuff, with the SSD and the uh, 16 gigabytes of RAM, just uh, 1,400 euros. So practically is half the price of another computer with the same performances. You know, uh, an Alienware. If you are not uh, um, gamers inside, you, I played sometimes with um, games like Skyrim or GTR 2 or uh, some Need for Speed, just few things or you can do um, you can edit videos, music with these. Now with the 16 gigabytes of RAM, I, I really don't need anything more for my use. You can have great results with this notebook. I'm really glad to to have both this this kind of notebook. So I like to watch movies, TV series, and anything practically on my notebook so this offers the the quality of the sound the quality of the video and the and now even the performances that i want so guys let's see next time with another review and i hope you enjoyed subscribe and like it thank you bye